welcome to Backyard Woodworking. It's been a while, but having some problems with the wife's illnesses. She's got a lot of arthritis in her body, and now she needs to get her knees replaced. I'm going to do one the end of the month, so bills are adding up. So I had not much time or money to go playing around in the shop lately, so. But I got a repair job to do. Figured I might as well show you how I'm going to do it anyway. It's woodworking to a degree. This is one of these little balusters that they sell uh, that the dog ate. As you can see, she does a good job. Well, she ate a whole bunch of them. She's a young dog, and now it's good to whack her in the head with. That's about all that dog understands, I guess. But just kidding. I don't whack the dog in the head. Here's a replacement I made. Need to make about nine of these or so, ten on one side and about eight or nine on the other. This was a piece of, uh, I believe it was a two by ten originally, but I've been cutting some stuff off of it, so that's about I got left. Now I'll move the camera down to show you what I'm doing here. This is uh, jig I made. In fact, there's a video on my channel. I made wheels out of plexiglass here instead of buying a ball, uh, a bearing for it. I used my uh, hole saw that I had, and I believe this is about an inch and a quarter or something. I don't know, inch and um, about inch and five sixteenths or so. It comes out too. In a circle, what you do, you just drill through the, this is the plug that you get out of the hole saw. It worked out. I used, had some plastic left from a job, and I made it out of that. T-nut. A couple of pieces of hardboard that I glued in here, like that. You undo this screw here, and it slides back and forth. Now, what you do, you set this to the blade. Now, what I did, I had a piece of this scrap. There it is. I set it right to the distance for the blade. Make sure that this wheel is always behind your blade. Then you tighten these two little wing nuts down here, and that don't move. Take your board. I always cut a, a little edge off so you have something you know good to reference it. And set your fence so it, it'll slide right right there. You start up your saw, bingo, you get a bunch of these. Just do one after another. Then, you can come over. I have to move the camera because I can't do everything. I set up my router table here with a quarter inch roundover bit and just push them through. Which I got that holds it tight. But then you get you get a nice little roundover and it's just like the ones you buy. Now I have, the reason why I go buy them, number one, and, and when you got a lot of this laying around, this is all leftovers from a deck. Now see, I, once I get into this crappy wood here where it's all knotted and all, I'm not going to use that because when I cut a thin strip out here with this bad knot here, it's just going to either break or it's just going to twist like a banana. So this board's about had it for what I can use unless I can uh, get pieces this long. Now, if that's all I needed was a piece this long, that would be fine. But this is junk now. But there's another piece left over. This guy can cut off. I'll run the saw right down the edge of this, cut this knot right out. Now, this knot in here, I might be able to get by with this one. If not, I got more. 
I got a pile of it, but that's that's what I'm doing. Now I, I'm just going to take another piece, four feet long, of this stuff here. I'll get another piece out there. I'm going to cut off with a circular saw about four feet, and uh, I need a two by uh, four, basically, for the bottom rail where she chewed on. I might as well replace that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to make a two by four out of. Um, the one by ten or two by tens or two by eights, two by six. I got a bunch of different sizes over there in a pile, and that's what I'm going to do. And simple as that. But I just wanted to show you the jig and how it's set up. And that's it. some more of these. Alright, I got a little bit of this. I don't know if you can hear out here in this wind, but they're probably not too good on the listen, but you can follow me what I'm doing. Got to go get me some more. All right. Got a little pilot hole. I have my square here set. I'm going to 
get me a three and a half inch spacing. Coach says four. I like three and a half, three three quarters. Three and a half seems to be halfway decent the way this works out. Well, here's uh, one side pretty much done. See what I did here is uh, made new ones there, and I took some of these old ones that are here. Eventually, this is all coming down, this whole thing, so I just want to fix it up so it's straight anyway. And I moved them around. Now all these are, believe it or not, they're centered, but some of these old ones are warped, so they don't look centered. So that's the way it goes anyway. But they're all centered at three and a half inches apart. Instead of uh, four, four and a half, some of them were, some are three and a half, uh, they were all over the place. I don't know who built this masterpiece, but I wouldn't hire them. So, that's this side. The other side going to be the same. Just thought I'd throw this up in case anybody need to know how to do it. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe if you like what you see.